Guilty Gear, one of the best, the very, very best 2D fighting games in all of existence on any video game system, on any arcade machine, on any handheld. And that, I will definitely take to the fucking grave. Now, the thing is that Guilty Gear recently hasn't really seen a whole lot of action. And that's because Arc System Works, the people that put out Guilty Gear, they haven't really done anything with the franchise. They've been doing things with their newer franchise, Blaze Blue. Now, when it was first announced, I was actually pretty happy that the game was coming out because I was like, oh man, this is pretty awesome. It's like building up the Guilty Gear universe, sort of. You know, Blaze Blue will be like a continuation of it or something. You know, and eventually we'll have something epic like Blaze Blue versus Guilty Gear and just collide them together. I mean, Capcom does it all the time, so why not this? Yeah, that's not going to happen. See, recently, Destructoid had an interview with some of the people over at Arc System Works. And turns out that they don't feel that Guilty Gear is really something that fans want to play anymore. That the fans of Guilty Gear, well, they're too old now. So they don't really play games anymore because they're older now. And all of a sudden, that means that you have to completely replace the entire game. The franchise, all the characters, all the stories, everything. Just poof, gone. And now replace them with a bunch of fucking characters that are somewhat like them. Wow. Wow. First, let me actually give you the quote directly from one of the main guys there. And you'll understand why this is one of the most asinine things in the entire universe. Toshimichi Hori of Arc System Works said, and I quote, The generation of Guilty Gear players has become a certain age, maybe a little bit too old for playing games, so making that reset brings in a new generation of fighting game players. Then they will be with us for the next few years. Unquote. Alright, I'm going to go over a whole lot of things that is wrong with this idea, just to prove my fucking point. Okay, to begin with, number one, there was Guilty Gear games brought out, like, maybe like a year or two ago. Then there was one on 360, which starred Soul Bad Guy, and it was like a little action game. So, I don't think that those players are too old, because if you just brought those games out, and a new player just picked that game up, and they're young, they're like 13 or some shit, then what happens whenever they're a fan of that game, they just got their hands on it, and no more games come out? And secondly, yeah, I've been playing Guilty Gear since it was on PS1. Because that's when the first Guilty Gear came out. And I was a huge fan of it. I was just hoping for more. And then they brought out Guilty Gear X on PS2. Then they had it on Dreamcast. And then they brought out even more on PlayStation 2. Then they had it on Xbox. And I was just like, this is like the best shit ever. I got every single one of my, my friends into playing the games. Everybody I knew thought Guilty Gear was the shit. It also has one of the most kick-ass game soundtracks ever ever in existence. Every single Guilty Gear has awesome fucking music. Wanna know why? Because it's all fucking metal. That kicks ass. All the characters in it, they were really unique. The art style in it looked awesome, and for back then, it blew out every single 2D fighter easily. Graphically, like, it looked amazing. It was like little anime 2D sprites that were drawn so well. It made things like Street Fighter look like shit, look like a fucking joke. Okay, then you have the fact that he actually had the audacity to say that he's going to replace Guilty Gear with Blaze Blue because Guilty Gear is now old, like it has a fucking expiration date or something. Okay, games don't have an expiration date. You know, if we went with the same mentality with all game franchises, we wouldn't have gotten past Super Mario Bros. 3 on NES. Okay, there have been no Super Mario World, there have been no Super Mario 64, no Super Mario Galaxy, none of that shit, because, well, the people that are playing Super Mario on Nintendo, they've all gotten older now, so we have to replace it. But we're going to make the game just like Mario, but with different characters, and the world will be different, the bad guys will be different, but it's just like Mario, you know, you're still jumping on people and jumping on pipes, but we'll replace the pipes with, like, I don't know, a gigantic fucking cock you can fucking jump down, okay? The fact that they're replacing Replacing, replacing Guilty Gear, okay, makes no sense. Okay, how about this? Ragna from Blaze Blue, okay, the best character that I use in the game, in my opinion, one of the main characters in it. Did you notice something? Oh, that's right, he looks just like Soul Bad Guy. Oh, and 
he has an arch nemesis who looks just like fucking Kai from Guilty Gear. <laughs> they both have blonde hair and use swords and everything. Yeah, there, there's something a little bit up with that. And it's just the fact that all it is is like a mirror world. Now, it's not like I'm bashing Blaze Blue. I like the game a lot. I like Guilty Gear a whole hell of a lot more, though. I like all the Guilty Gears a whole hell of a lot more. Okay, Blaze Blue, okay, both of them that came out, I could take both of those and compare it to just Guilty Gear X2. Guess what? It's not going to be able to fucking matter because Guilty Gear X2 is amazing. Then you have Asuka, and you have Guilty Gear X, you have regular Guilty Gear, then you have Accent Core, and you have all the different versions that are in Japan. You know, it's just an amazing franchise, and you're just going to go and drop it because you think fans are too fucking old for it? Suck my jolly fucking Irish cock! Okay, that's a load of fucking crap. I literally have been waiting, like crossing my fucking fingers, waiting in anticipation for a new Guilty Gear to come out because I'd be able to play it online. Okay, I didn't really have fucking Xbox Live when the first Xbox was around. I didn't have that. I also didn't go online with the PS2, not that it would have fucking mattered because they didn't have Guilty Gear online with PS2 anyway. But it's just a fact that right now, it'd be awesome going on to the 360 playing online, going on PlayStation 3, going online playing with that. Oh, wait, I forgot. We can't do that because Guilty Gear's outdated suddenly. <laughs> Better check the expiration date. Oh, did you see that? He got outdated last year. Bring out more Blaze Blue. Oh, wait. But according to his quote, the people that are into Blaze Blue right now, myself included, ironically, we're only going to be in the Blaze Blue for like a couple years, and then we're all going to be too old to play games. So then we have to replace Blaze Blue with something else. So then you'll have two franchises that you made fans of, and they're going to be pissed off that you fucking just gave it the shaft. Literally. Now, if any person out there has played Guilty Gear, you should understand it's an amazing franchise. Whether you prefer Guilty Gear over Blaze Blue, it doesn't even really matter. Mind you, I brought it up because it's just my opinion. But the thing is, is that if you've played Guilty Gear, you're a fan of 2D fighters and you've played that, you know it's a solid game. They're all really good games. Even the ones that weren't that great were still pretty decent. Yet, here we are. We're being told that, as fans, we're too old to fucking play it. That makes no fucking sense. Okay, people don't just up and they're just like, well, guess what? I'm like in my mid-twenties now. I really don't like playing games anymore. See all that shit behind me? Yeah, I'm fucking like pitching in the garbage or some shit. Sorry. It's it's out, out of date. You know, I'm too old for this. I suddenly just don't fucking care about playing games anymore. As a matter of fact, why should I even bother with this stuff anymore? Because, you know, Guilty Gear, oh, that was, that was yesterday's news. I think I'm going to go and read a book. So this is going to be my message directly to Arc System Works. If you have any fucking ounce of common sense in your thick skulls, and I'm sure they're very thick, like this fucking thick, okay? I'll be more than happy to give you a fucking lobotomy to get this message through to you. Nobody just decides at a certain age that they don't like something, okay, when it comes to games. They don't just decide, well, I'm a certain age, I don't want to play it anymore, okay? Guilty Gear isn't something that just fucking randomly poof nobody is into anymore. Everybody around the world just decided they didn't like to play it. People that went to the arcades didn't decide that, oh, there goes Guilty Gear. Oh, that's yesterday's news. I don't want to play it anymore, okay? There's games that stand the test of time. I could play every single one of those games on the fucking PS2 and enjoy them just as much as I did the first fucking time that I picked them up. So maybe you fucking asshats ought to be able to get a fucking clue. People still like the fucking franchise, they still like the characters, they still want to be able to play the games. You ought to make the fans happy, because that's who the fuck you're catering to. You sit there for all your fucking hours developing these games, well, you ought to fucking really get a fucking clue, and be able to fucking make the games for the people so that you can keep making money to keep producing the shit that we like so much. And if there were no fucking hardcore fans of it, there were no diehard fans of the Guilty Gear franchise, you wouldn't have this motherfucker right here making a video as pissed off as I am, thinking that you're just gonna up and let the fucking franchise just go away like the fucking dinosaur. No. Fuck that. In conclusion, all I can say is, I hope, I really, really hope, 
that the news of this spreads like a fucking wildfire. Mind you, I know Guilty Gear isn't like a household name and every single person, you know, and their fucking mother and their cousin and their uncle and shit knows about Guilty Gear, and that's all fine and dandy. But the thing is, it has a fan following, a very, very big fan following. And I don't want it to go away as much as any other fan out there. So if you've played it, Comment below, make a video response, go to forums, go to Destructoid. I'll put the link down below in the information. You can click on it. If you have a login there, post a comment or something. Doesn't matter. We have to make sure that these assholes actually get wind of stuff like this, because if not, well, they'll just continue to keep, like, shitting on franchises that everybody became fans of, and then giving us a more watered-down version after that, and after that, and after that. And I'll be fucked if I don't get to play another game starring Soul Bad Guy, or Testament, or Kai, or any other Guilty Gear character that I thought was the most awesome shit in the whole entire world. And you want to know what? You guys should feel the same exact way, too.